Well, hi there again, modelers. We're out at work again in the shop working on our Enterprise B, and uh, we've got quite a bit of work done here on our saucer section, so we're moving on here to the uh, secondary hull. I'm starting to lay some of these decals down, and then uh, I've done some paint work here on the secondary hull. I've actually painted this stripe on. I matched this color up to the decals, and as you can probably see that. And uh, I'm going to come back in here and paint this deflector uh, dish recessed area here, and uh, spray the neck here in a little bit with my airbrush. Right now I'm going to finish uh, putting this decal on the secondary, the top of the secondary hull here. And then we're going to start some more paint work. So yeah, it's coming along pretty good and uh, making quite a bit of progress. We're uh, just about to start assembling some of these parts once we finish some of this detail work here. So I want to get this uh, secondary hull all decaled and painted, and then we'll be able to put that together and move on to uh, getting the neck assembled and then attaching the saucer, and then we'll do the engines last. So, yep, everything's coming along pretty good. I'm just uh, working with this decal sheet here, making sure I have everything marked in the right place. And uh, since I put that clear coat on my... Uh, Don's Light and Magic decal set. I'm having a lot better luck with that as well, so things are, things are looking better there. Good evening, Commander. Is everything ready? Okay, let's get this decal put on. Hard, That's an oh, my God. Very good for you, Lieutenant. But it's damn okay. irregular. No destination orders, no encoded IDs. All true. Well, what are we going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything about it. You're going to sit in the closet. The closet? Okay, that went down there pretty nice. This is just a nice little uh, Aztec decal that's on the top of the secondary hull here. Yeah, these stickers here, you've got to cut them out uh, exactly as they're uh, printed on the uh, on the sheet there, otherwise you're going to have excess. And we had to be sure and do that really close here because these actually are sitting on a, a shape that matches the uh, decal here. So I'm just getting all the air bubbles worked out of it, and then I'm going to let this dry a little bit and put some more of that... Tester's decal adhesive on this, and that'll settle it down for me real nice. Thank you, Mr. Scott. I'll try not to take that person. My friends. Okay, I like where that's sitting. Okay, so that's our decal on there, and uh, we'll be back in just a little bit, and I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to tape up the... Uh, Deflector area here at the bottom of the uh, secondary hull and get that ready to spray and then we'll paint the neck at the same time since I'm going to do those two colors in the same and we'll work on that. Be back with that in just a little bit. Alright, so here we are. <clears throat> I've mixed up some nice metal, <clears throat> kind of a dark steel color for this neck and this little part of the uh, uh, deflector dish area, the recessed area there at the front. That'll look really nice on this so I'm ready to spray and here we go. Ventilation on here. got quite a bit of ribbing on it so it's a little bit hard to cover it all. Let's move it just a little bit here.
great on our neck area there. Now I'm going to put this, uh, turn my air pressure down just a little bit. This uh, area here at the deflector dish. really good. Heat on this and dry it up real quick. Okay, this part should be dry enough to handle, and it is. So now what I'm going to do is switch my tape around here just a little and uh, hit the back side of this. It's looking really good. That's the exact color that I wanted it to be. So, yeah, it's a dark, it appears dark gray or almost black on the uh, movie. And when you look at uh, actual photos of it, it's kind of a steelish color. And there's actual ribbing on there that's you know, on the real model that's stuck up above the rest of it. And you saw it like a darker shape underneath. And you could probably do a little wash on this to bring out some of that ribbing a little bit more. But just this uh, dark gray color here should look really nice on it. Same thing I wanted it to match down there at the uh, that dark area in front of the deflector dish. This should look pretty good. Okay, so you can kind of see that there. And we've got our neck area painted here now. I'll come back and pull the tape off this and we'll show you what it looks like back in a second. Well, here we are again, and we're back from uh, doing some more detail painting. I'll show you this. Uh, at the uh, striping there on the side of the uh, secondary hole and we got the uh, deflector area all painted up and the deflector dish installed. It's starting to look pretty good. And then we got our top part done here. You can see these decals on there, a little bit of paint detailing. And we got our neck finished up. So it's looking pretty good. There's that steel color I was talking about. That looks really nice on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying these little uh, markings here on the side of the secondary hull. Working in the, those on the decals here. Do this one first. Got a whole bunch of window decals to do a little bit later too that's going to add a whole lot of life to this thing so that should really bring a lot of it out. pretty well though. Really happy with it so far. No really big issues with any of the fit. Um, when I go to put this uh, piece on here on the top, I'm going to have to use some clamps to hold that down. It's got a little bit of gap issues going on with it, but uh, I want to wait until I get all my paint detail done on this before I do that. But it's going to look pretty good. I'm just going to 
slide it off to the front edge a little bit and get it attached onto this thing and just pull it back. Referring to my decal sheet here off to my right. Make sure I have this thing lined up where it's supposed to be. It looks like it starts off just behind this, uh, this port here facing towards the front. It's just about there. I guess it's a phaser bank or a photon launcher or something there. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get the water off of it now. that one. We'll work on the next one here. A lot of decals to go on this yet. I don't plan on showing me putting them all on, but just to give some of you guys an idea of how it works and some of the little tricks you can use to line them up and work them around. Again, when I get all this, uh, I'm kind of going in phases here, and when I get these uh, decals in place, I'll go back and uh, spray some more of that decal adhesive on there, and then finally, once they're all in place, I'll put my clear coat on it, and that'll dull it all down. this up with a little bit of water like I mentioned before it just helps it slide around a little bit and I've got a couple more little things to work on I'll be doing the pylons next uh, doing the paint detail this same color will be applied on the leading edge of the pylons and, and I've got to paint up the, <clears throat> the warp nacelles and uh, I understand that uh, sometimes they're a little crooked I haven't test fitted those yet so I'll probably build those as a separate assembly and put them in a jig or something hopefully get them nice and straight A little bit of this water here will help you shift it around and not get stuck. Having this gloss coat of uh, clear on this model right now too is really helping me slide these around. If you've got just a base coat of paint on there, it tends to be a little bit rough. You can work with that too. You can sand it down with 600, and that usually smooths it out good enough to uh, work with your decals. Looks like it's on there pretty nice and straight. We've got some more that go on the bottom side here uh, and some paint detail to do on the back, but uh, the old secondary hull is starting to shape up pretty nice, starting to look more and more like the Enterprise B. We'll be doing a lot more detail on it and starting to put the assembly together next once we get all these little detail items done. So there's some more work on the Enterprise B. We'll see for the next one. We'll be putting the secondary hull together and Starting to work on the warp pylons. 
and uh, the primary hull is looking pretty good, the saucer, so hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, everybody, happy modeling.